بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر اسد عباس دس لیکچر کنسسٹ آف ٹو پارٹس ان پارٹ ون وی ول ڈسکس دا انٹروڈکٹری کانسیپٹ ریلیٹڈ ٹو سافٹ ویئر کنسٹرکشن ویئر ایز ان پارٹ ٹو وی ول ڈسکس دا کوالٹی ایشورنس ایکٹیویٹیز دیٹ آر پرفارمڈ ان سافٹ ویئر construction phase so what is software construction the term software construction refers to the detailed creation of working software through a combination of coding verification unit testing integration testing and debugging in fact uh, construction is uh, one of the central activities during the software development and uh, around 30 uh, uh, 30 to 80% of total project effort depending upon the size of the project that is actually uh, invested during uh, the construction phase therefore uh, the product uh, that is uh, which, uh, source code here is often the only accurate and up to date description of the system uh, in some cases for example uh, it mainly depends on the selection of the process model for example uh, as we uh, talk about agile method there uh, that method uh, uh, like strongly emphasizes on uh, rapid delivery of the product instead of Uh, generating uh, other work products therefore for that uh, process model construction is in fact uh, the only uh, uh, like uh, uh, most up to date description of the system okay now uh, the software construction is uh, linked to all the other development phases Uh, in some way but uh, as you can see here that it most strongly relates to software design and software testing activities for example uh, you see in the figure that uh, construction phase uses the output of the design as input and based on that input it actually performs the construction of coding activities similarly uh, this uh, developed or like constructed product is used by the next activity which is testing uh, in fact detailed boundaries between design construction and testing uh, they vary depending upon the software life cycle uh, processes uh, that are used in a project although some detailed design may be performed uh, prior to construction like much of the design is also performed during the construction activity that is like we keep on uh, sometimes refining our design while we are working with the code thus the software construction activity is uh, closely linked to the software design activity moreover uh, throughout construction software engineers uh, uh, like perform both the unit testing and integration testing of their work thus the software construction uh, is also closely linked to the software uh, software testing okay now uh, uh, the software construction is also linked with uh, configuration management activities uh, since software uh, construction typically produces uh, the highest number of uh, configuration items for example source files documentation test cases and in fact different work products that have to be taken care of in uh, a systematic way through uh, configuration management management tools therefore uh, the software construction is also uh, closely related to the software configuration management okay Uh, here we will discuss some wrong notions 
about the software construction activity due to which the quality of the software products is uh, compromised sometimes. For example, uh, one of the notions is that uh, uh, like that considers this activity as uh, uh, like just a right only exercise. That is uh, like here uh, the programmers they just want to uh, get their job done without uh, uh, any uh, consideration of quality in the written code. Uh, then uh, the next one is uh, ad hoc uh, uh, like standards or like uh, uh, lack of uniform uh, standards. Uh, in fact, there is a, a lack of uniform uh, uniformity and standards in coding or construction. Historically, uh, these are created in an ad hoc manner by each organization. Therefore, uh, sometimes uh, uh, best practices are often discarded by the organizations under uh, different cost and schedule pressures. And other reason for the absence of uh, standards uh, in coding might be that there is no penalty for inadequate standards due to which standardization in coding has still been an issue. Then uh, and other uh, like uh, uh, wrong conception mis uh, or concept about the coding is that uh, like it uh, uh, usually people treat testing as a separate exercise. Uh, depending on process model, testing is considered a separate activity from coding, due to which the errors uh, generated during the coding might not be caught immediately and uh, propagate further in other modules. Then the next one is rework uh, to fix the defects. Uh, like due to the poor code quality uh, rework uh, might be needed uh, to fix the issues or bugs in the code. Then uh, the next one is of the features take precedence over quality. That is, uh, we just want to implement the required features in the product and do not pay any attention to the quality of the code. Uh, similarly, uh, the, uh, the next one is definition of quality uh, is not rigorous in construction. Uh, again, uh, as I mentioned before, that this is due to non-uniform standards. Uh, standards and uh, best practices are not uh, uniformly followed uh, because they are not normally stated as the requirements, but uh, just uh, they are added at, as features and due to this reason, uh, the standards are not uh, followed. So uh, we see that uh, construction uh, is actually uh, tool intensive. Therefore, uh, the quality of the construction activity is evident in the construction products. That is, if uh, the const uh, we preserve the quality uh, in the construction, that quality uh, will be uh, like uh, observed in the products as well. Okay, software construction fundamentals. Here uh, we will discuss some fundamentals that are to be considered uh, while uh, we are performing the coding or construction activity. So the first one is minimizing complexity, then anticipating change then constructing for verification. Next is a reuse and then standards in software construction. So uh, we will discuss each uh, one of these uh, in detail in the next slides. Okay, uh, the first fundamental concept important for construction is minimizing complexity. Uh, since uh, humans are like limited in their ability to hold complex structures or like complex sort of information uh, in their working memories, especially uh, over longer periods of time. Uh, so uh, this proves to be uh, a major factor uh, that influences like how people interact with uh, 
machines or computers or like interact uh, uh, during uh, the development processes and uh, this leads to enhanced complexity during the software construction as well uh, so uh, the need to reduce complexity applies to essentially uh, every aspect of uh, like software construction and uh, is uh, particularly uh, important for uh, testing the software system. In software construction, uh, complexity reduction can be achieved through uh, emphasizing on uh, developing the code that is uh, like simple and readable uh, instead of uh, complex but inefficient. Uh, so uh, it can be actually uh, complexity can be minimized through making uh, use of uh, the standards or uh, like uh, uh, mo uh, for example uh, like developing the modular designs at strong. Then uh, anticipating change. Uh, most software ac uh, actually change over time and uh, the anticipation of a change drives many aspects of uh, software construction uh, similarly uh, changes in the environment in which software operates also affect software in different ways therefore uh, anticipation of changes helps software engineers uh, develop extensible software systems uh, which means uh, like they can enhance a software product without disrupt, uh, disrupting the underlying structure then uh, constructing for verification constructing for verification means building software in such a way that faults can be readily found uh, by the software engineers uh, who are working uh, with the code as well as by the testers and users uh, during the testing and uh, like uh, usual uh, operational activities of the system. So uh, this can be achieved for example by uh, like uh, uh, enforcing uh, the coding standards to support the code reviews similarly uh, through like unit testing uh, organizing code to support automated testing and similarly by uh, restricting the use of uh, complex or hard to understand language structures uh, in the code then uh, the next concept is reuse in fact reuse refers to using existing assets in solving different uh, problems uh, in software construction uh, typical resources that are uh, or assets that are reused uh, include like libraries uh, modules uh, components source code and like similar uh, for example commercial off the shelf uh, assets uh, reuse is uh, best uh, practiced systematically uh, according to a well-defined and repeatable process and of course uh, the team should have sufficient experience in deciding about uh, the components that are to be reused so systematic reuse can enable significant software productivity quality and cost improvements uh, then uh, the reuse has uh, reuse actually has uh, two closely uh, related facets uh, the first one is construction for reuse and then uh, second one is construction with reuse so uh, like what is construction for reuse it means to create reusable software assets whereas uh, construction with reuse means to reuse software assets in the construction of a new solution so uh, reuse uh, also often extends the boundary of the project which means uh, reused assets can be constructed in other projects or organizations and they might be used in some different project or by some different organization.
then uh, the last uh, uh, fundamental concept is standards in construction uh, applying external or uh, internal development standards during uh, construction helps achieve a project's objectives or for example like uh, efficiency quality or cost uh, standards that directly uh, affect construction issues uh, include like communication for example standards for some uh, document formats and uh, contents similarly uh, uh, programming languages for example language standards like uh, for languages such as uh, java c++ similarly uh, platform standards for example like interface standards or uh, for uh, like operating system calls then uh, tools for example like uh, diagrammatic standards for notation such as uh, uml etc uh, then, uh, as I mentioned before, that standards, uh, they might be external or they might be internal. Uh, by external standards, uh, we mean that uh, like they have been proposed by or developed by some uh, uh, related body, for example, uh, IEEE or ISO. Similarly, uh, internal standards, uh, like they may be created uh, by an organization at the corporate uh, level or for uh, like use on specific projects. Uh, these standards support coordination of group activities like uh, similarly they help in minimizing the com complexity, uh, anticipating change and then uh, uh, like devise strategies accordingly and similarly they help in uh, like uh, construction for verification here we will see some uh, tasks that are involved in software construction in fact uh, there are uh, plenty of tasks that are uh, involved in construction but here we have highlighted a few important so the first one is like verifying that the groundwork has been laid so that construction can proceed successfully means that uh, like uh, making sure that all uh, the prerequisites for uh, construction uh, like they are uh, complete uh, then uh, determining how your code will be tested similarly designing and writing uh, classes and routines then uh, creating and naming variables and uh, like uh, other named constants then selecting uh, the appropriate uh, control structures and uh, organizing uh, the blocks of statements. Similarly, uh, unit testing, integration testing, and code debugging. Uh, reviewing other team members uh, like low level designs and code. And of course, uh, uh, then uh, you can have them review your uh, written code. Then uh, another task is uh, polishing the code, like by uh, carefully formatting and commenting it so that uh, it uh, becomes understandable. Uh, then uh, integrating software components uh, that were like uh, created separately and uh, tuning code to make it uh, smaller and faster. That is uh, like uh, uh, optimizing the code. Uh, so. Uh, here uh, I will stop uh, our discussion on uh, the fundamental concepts uh, related to construction. In the next video of this lecture, I will discuss uh, the, uh, the quality assurance uh, techniques that are performed in software construction. Thank you. The material in this video is uh, based on these two sources. For more details, you can consult these sources. Thank you.